Hey there, Taurus. Hey, this is Renee and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the next three months. What's coming forward, what you may not expect, what is happening in the next three months, okay? So we're going to pull some cards and stick around to the end when we pull an angel number and see what the angels are saying. Um, now, if this resonates, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. If this doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. And I'll have a link at the end for those, okay? So let's get into it. What's going on in the next three months? What you can expect? What's coming forward for you, Taurus? And we'll see. Let's see. We have Healer of Thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space and makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. Okay? You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring and has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. So I feel like, you know, the the situations that you're going through, I feel like, you know, Spirit is letting you know it's time to clean up your space. It's time to declutter, get rid of the things that no longer serve you, and also, you know, work on that healing, work on that aspect. And there may be someone around you who is offering some kind of help in the situation to help you, you know, clear the clutter. Okay. Um, so I feel like someone with a lot of knowledge, someone close to you, uh, maybe someone a little older and wiser is going to help you through this process. Okay. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. Okay, we have sever vows of poverty. Okay, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty and self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time okay so yes spirit is letting you know to release any feelings of lack get out of that you know poverty mentality that maybe you don't have enough there's not enough income coming in there's not enough resources you know spirit is letting you know you know get out of that lack mentality and move into a more positive space Think more positively about your situation and view things as getting better. You know, positively see things getting better. If you're in need, it, instead of being in that lack mentality, Taurus, to think more positive. View yourself as having everything that you need, having the money at your resource, having, you know, that new car, that new home, that that new lifestyle that you're wanting to receive, you know, by viewing and really envisioning that lifestyle, you're actually manifesting something better. So keep a positive mindset. Uh, Taurus and view things the way that you really want them to become and by doing that you're actually bringing things into creation okay let's go ahead and get some more energy for Taurus okay what else is going on with Taurus the next three months okay what's going on with Taurus the next three months please Hey, we have happiness okay so there's a lot of happiness in your forecast things are working out as they should okay i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path so spirit wants you to know that you know happier times are awaiting that you know trust in the process okay because happiness is right around the corner if you're not if you haven't been happy in the past couple 
days, months, weeks, you know. Um, have faith. Turn those thoughts into positive thoughts. Find happiness in the little moments. Okay? There may be some kind of shift that you need to do. Maybe working on some uh, chakra work will be very helpful. Maybe meditating. But find happiness in those small moments. Okay? Yes, we have acceptance. So, you know, accepting the things that you cannot change and also self-acceptance here is going to bring you more happiness. Accepting yourself just as you are. You are a perfect being just like you are, Taurus. Okay? So, ex acceptance is going to be very important the next three months. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. First of all, we're going to take a look at something that you may need to release from your life. Something that just has to go. It's just not working in order for something better to come around the next three months. Okay, um, let's take a look. Spirit messages for Taurus the next three months. We already see that, you know, Spirit is letting you know to declare declutter your life declutter your space get rid of those things that you're not using and you know have a garage sale have some you know put things on etsy put things on um online okay um get rid of those things that just are cluttering up your life and just taking up space because you want that space for better things Okay, let's go ahead and see. Okay, we have the justice. Okay. And we have the sun. Okay. Now I see what this is. Beautiful. And, okay, this is the thing, Taurus. I feel like you're releasing control of the situation. You're releasing control. You're finding more balance so that you can become more happier. You know, there's a lot of things that you may be releasing. It may be a job. It may be thoughts. Um, but I feel like there's there's certain things that are holding you back. There's certain things keeping you from being balanced. And I feel like you know exactly what those things are. And those things are the ones that need to be released at this time so that happiness can flow through here. Okay, and also what I'm feeling with this sun card is releasing any negative thoughts so that you can bring in the light. Okay, and that way, you know, that positive mindset, you know, take 30 days. Take 30 days to, you know, train yourself to think more positive. You may think I'm crazy, Taurus, but if you train yourself for 30 days to Think positive and move yourself away from those negative thoughts, those negative energies. And then that next 30 days, keep doing it and watch how things start to turn around. Watch how things start to unfold, start to improve, start to, you know, you start feeling better about things. You start feeling better about your job, about, you know, the place where you live, the place you know, the car that you drive, if you think positive and, you know, just get rid of those negative energies. Sometimes when negative thoughts come into my mind, I, I instantly uh, replace that with something positive. You know, it's like no devil, uh-uh, you're not going to bring that negative stuff in, into my thoughts right now. We're going to replace that real quick with something positive. Now, watch what happens in your life in that next 30 days after you change that mindset. Okay? So, I just want to let you know that. Okay. Now, we're going to take a look at what challenges you may face in the next three months. What challenges will you face? in the next three months the challenges please give me a message okay hangman deep in thought here changing your perspective and something being revealed 
the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, I feel like your challenge. Your challenge is actually changing your perspective about something that may be hidden. Something that you're you're really not aware of. It may have to do with your finances. It may have to do with gaining more stability, um, gaining more income, more feeling more grounded. You know, it may be something to do with work or something to do with your work life, something to do with your career. But I feel like, you know, just like I was saying before, you know, the way that you're going to get through this challenge is by changing your perspective. You know, I feel like you may not have all the answers and that's okay. We, none of us do. None of us have all the answers. There's a lot of things that are still hidden that still need to be revealed. But by changing your perspective and changing your mindset, you become more aware of the things that are being revealed so that increase can happen, so that mindsets can shift. Okay, but I feel like, you know, your challenge is to actually work on getting through these, some kind of financial situation. See, we have this healing card here. So I feel like, you know, the Spirit is letting you know to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space and makes you disorganized. So I, I feel like setting clear priorities and becoming... Um, maybe getting a planner, becoming more organized, setting a set schedules, you know, because the, uh, the queen of pentacles, she's very dependable. She's very reliable. She's loyal. She's, you know, grounded and stable. And I, I feel like that's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, that is your challenge to become more reliable, more dependable. Okay, to build on that stability, maybe that you're lacking at the moment, because there needs to be a perspective shift so that you can work on these things. Okay, I think in the next three months, I feel like you're, you're actively working on the things that you can change and the things that maybe is going to take more time. OK, so you can't do everything in the three month period, but you can make little changes to gain better and new habits. OK, so I, I feel like that's exactly what this is. You are gaining a better perspective to um, become a more dependable, more reliable, more stable person in all. OK, and. Okay, now with your blessings, I feel like there's going to be choices that need to be made. There's going to definitely choices. Oh my gosh, weighing options, making choices, having tough decisions. Okay, um, but I feel like you are strong enough to handle whatever is coming forward. And you have the drive and the push to make things happen. Okay, um, you also have the will of fortune on the bottom. So what you don't see, what you don't expect is huge changes coming forward for you, Taurus. This is good fortune. This is, you know, good luck after many difficulties. Okay, these are changes that you're making and you're riding that wheel on the outside of the wheel, you know, and it, it, it's fine. It's fine because... It means that you are flowing with those changes. Okay, but good fortune is coming. This is a shift. This is an important shift that's building character that is going to maybe possibly build the rest of your existence. Okay, maybe you'll be able to pass down those changes, pass down those good qualities and move away from the lack mindset. OK, um, OK, so I, I feel like these blessings that are going to happen, you're going to have choices. You're going to have choices to make. You're going to have decisions, Taurus. There there may be a decision that, you know, may be hard for you to come to a conclusion because you have the two of swords and the two of pentacles so there there's options that you're weighing there's you know you're weighing the pros and the cons you know the um the different advantages and diff different disadvantages of the situation 
But I feel like, you know, in order to pursue your happiness, I feel like you are accepting the things that you can do and not accepting the things that, that is beyond your power. Okay, but I feel like, you know, there may be people around you who are making choices as well, but I feel like you're kind of sitting back and waiting like, okay, what kind of choices are they going to make? Because I, I have some choices of my own that I need to weigh. Okay, so I feel like there's there's choices and priorities that you're making. You may be starting to set your priorities accordingly. But I feel like, you know, you are, you're on the right track. Definitely on the right track. We have the Strength card and the Queen of Wands. Both of these cards represent strength, endurance, confidence, okay? Um, feeling a abundance of self-worth and self-love. Both of these cards represent the same thing, basically. The Queen of Wands is just very assertive. Uh, you know, she's going after what she wants. She's not sitting back and waiting for something to happen. She's adapting to her situation, and she's totally going for it, okay? And I feel like you are strong enough. You are capable to do anything you put your mind to. And I feel like you need to know right now that Spirit is letting you know. There's double confirmation here. That strength, confidence, and going after what you want is exactly what you'll be doing within this next three months. Whatever the situation is, whether it's in love, career, finance, what have you, place this where it resonates, okay? But I feel like Spirit is giving you double confirmation that you are worth it all. Okay? You are priceless. You're beautiful. You're attractive. You're confident. You can go after whatever you put your mind to. Okay? And you are strong and courageous. Fearless. Okay? And bold. Definitely. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, this is a very strong message of really going after what it is that you are setting your mind to. Maybe you have made plans about pursuing something, um, but I feel like, you know, this is time. This is the time. This is time for good things to happen, good offers to be accepted. Okay, a time to get out of that lack mindset, feeling like you're left out in the cold because you are greater. Okay, beautiful message for Taurus. Okay, let's go ahead and get a card for, let's see, let's go ahead and get a card for love. <clears throat> How is Taurus's love life going? At this moment, what well, in the next three months? In the next three months, where is Taurus's love life? What's coming in for love, please? Okay, a girl with a snake. Wow. Okay, so beware of someone who wants to charm you, who wants to, you know, um, just get close to you for reasons. Okay, I feel like someone is going to try to get close to you for certain reasons. Um, they may have outdated thinking. They may be very traditional, someone that you're not really attracted to. And they may try to say things that um, try to get over. Um, they may try to kind of get in your head about things make you switch your thinking here okay so let's see i'm going to get one of these cards too let's see oh so someone wants to say i'm happiest with you wow hmm hmm i miss you and i need to see you and go with the flow. Wow. Okay, so someone has a message. Someone is sending you messages. Um, maybe someone who... 
I don't know, may not have the best of intentions, but I feel like this person is trying to sway you in some way. They're trying to, they, they may be a narcissist. They may not be able to empathize with, you know, what you're dealing with, what you're going through. But I feel like they're very charming and they're very assertive. It feels like they're really trying to, you know, put their energy out there to show exactly where they're at, okay? Um, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's get a manifestation monology. Let's get a manifestation monology for Taurus. Okay, we have keep your heart open, okay? So keep your heart open to new possibilities and assess the situation. So be vigilant. You know, don't take every book by its cover, Taurus. Look a little deeper. Assess the situation, okay? Because I feel like, you know, there may be some things that may be hidden that need to be revealed. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's get an angel card. Sometimes these will also give us answers to questions. Okay. We have strength and guidance. So I feel like, you know, Spirit is letting you know again, you have the strength. You may be divinely guided into your situation, okay? And honesty and communication. So be aware that, you know, you can assist, you can insist that, you know, there's honesty, communication, open communication, Okay, so, you know, nothing is left unsaid. Open up that throat chakra and speak your truth, Taurus. Okay, let's get an angel card. Let's see what's going on with the angels. Okay, we have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path and take one step at a time to happiness. Beautiful. We also have increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner, inner voice. Okay, so use your intuition in, during these situations because I feel like your intuition is going to give you that gut feeling. That gut feeling that, okay, this feels right or, okay, something's just not adding up. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, they're... There needs to be some kind of gut feeling in here. Use that intuition. Trust in your intuition. Okay. Let's go ahead and get an angel number for Taurus. Let's see what angel number we have for Taurus, please. Okay. We have 444 protection. Spirit is letting you know you are being divinely protected during this three month period you know they are holding you they are protecting you okay this is your time to take confidence in all that you pursue the divine universe is working through you protecting you time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms okay and your affirmation I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me. I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Beautiful. Okay, Taurus. That is what I have for you for the next three months. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, and your Venus sign if you know that. And until your next reading, many blessings to you, Taurus. Love and light.